Derek, just sum that up for me if you can. Uh, obviously, there was um, losing the, the first goal was never ideal. Um, disappointed with the goal we lose because obviously it's a, uh, the centre forward standing unmarked in the box. Um, you can pick holes in that type of uh, goal that we lost and we're disappointed. I felt that. Um, we had chances first half, you know, it was a bit too open at times, but when we did do what we expected ourselves and get into wider areas, I thought we had good support and runs from Brad Lyons and my front two were causing them problems, but we needed to do better with opportunities in the first half. We spoke at half time, we felt the need to try and just get more, winning more second balls. I thought in the middle of the part we needed to be a wee bit more forthright with our work and Davy Watson put in an unbelievable shift. He was outstanding. The game, what we should be talking about is David Watson. It really should. It was a brilliant second half performance for certainly for 35 uh, minutes. Uh, a command up performance you would expect for ourselves. So what we've been used to here at Rugby Park and the boys did so well. Every one of them in that second half was magnificent for 35 minutes. But you still need somebody to come up a big moment. It's an unbelievable finish for wee Davey. Um, he then gets his second goal, not through any skill, but just through sheer determination and, and finishes off the cross for Matty's um, Kennedy. And obviously we're in such a, a strong position at that, that point. We get the third goal um, and we all looked so comfortable, I think. Um, but it's never over until it's over. Um, you know, we, um, we, we, at that moment in time, looked as if Dundee United were on the floor. They have made four changes just to try and throw something at it. They go 4-4-2. Four, four, we make a wee adjustment to that uh, um, just to make sure that we're um, seeing that out and seeing off that threat. But we've got a chance to clear the second goal, which we don't. We should save the second goal, and it's clear that it's, um, we should be expecting better of ourselves. And when the second goal goes in, it gives them just a wee bit of optimism and a bit thinking they might just get something. And, you know, I'm just annoyed that I feel it wasn't anything Dundee United done to go and change that. I feel as though that second goal was self inflicted. And but we've still got the dying end of the game to see it out. I know there was in the eight or nine minutes injury time, maybe even 10 minutes. Um, played but it was an 80 yard punt up the pitch that we've got one more header to win in the game yes we're without our two main headers and Joe Wright and Stu Finlay but we have got to see off that first header um, they're on the move and capitalise on it we're static uh, thereafter I thought the penalty was soft having seen it again I still think it's soft but we're wrong side and it gives the referee a decision to make I don't think the referee was really sure and he was so hesitant to give it but gave it he did and uh, we were punished and it's just galling that we've lost um, two points here just on that type of goal um, for all the work we do for all the the positive changes that were there, the, the performance second half, it comes down to an 80 yard punt that we just need to see off and we don't deal with it and we are punished to the full extent. So really disappointing that we um that um we, we've no managed to see that out from a winning position and uh, like I say it's something that we need to improve on but we should be talking about we watching and how well the players played second half.